Welcome everyone, my name is Michael. Today, we are doing something really cool. And to tell the truth, I do have to credit a lot of YouTube artists on this one. Because I had been working on different ideas of what I wanted to do. Um, there will be a fail video coming out. I'll put that on, that's actually going to be on the, the Stuff channel. Um, but yeah, I do want to credit a lot of artists here because I was... I was struggling a little bit with what I wanted to do. So I said, all right, let's get a little bit of inspiration. I hopped on YouTube, watched a bunch of videos, saw a bunch of artists, okay? But one artist I really connected with, and um, I will link all the other artists down below that I was watching so you guys can get an idea of where this is all coming from. And I really did uh, feel like I match up well with Gina DeLuca for some reason. I feel like I don't really like to contact paper. I didn't really care for taping um, stuff around to block and I feel like her style of doing this silhouette um, style of pour kind of works well with what I want to do all right so all right we don't want to chat too too much and I also want to give a big thank you uh, for Marie Louise and um, Kim for inviting me along on this challenge all right so let's go into these colors because this is a very beautiful color palette um, let's start off here this is gonna be, this is a metallic pink, okay? Then we have neon pink. This is purple flash, okay? This is blue violet flash. This is metallic bluish purple and blue flash, okay? Then we have right here, this is um, just titanium white. It's actually the same consistency as everything else. Just a little bit of silicone in it, just so we could generate some cells as we swipe. Very easy. Um, also, another thing that I feel like, okay, Gina DeLuca did the same thing. And I was like, okay, this is nice. I like this. All right, enough chatting on with you guys. Here we go. Whoo, this is very exciting. I'm very excited to show this. Um, I do have a really... <laughs> really cool plastic here that I'm going to use to swipe across with. I usually actually prefer using paper towels, um, but today I'm going to use the plastic. I think it'll be nice, and that way you can kind of see it slide down. All right. Um, I also just want to say, look, this right here, down here in the purple, this is a metallic purple, okay? Underneath it is a dioxazine purple. So I did a layer of di dioxazine purple underneath first, then I did um, a layer of metallic purple, just to add some nice depth and make it, give it a little texture too, because it feels really nice right now. And it's the shine is so great. And I just love this. I did, I did fill this in with titanium white beforehand and dragged a little bit of titanium white this way. So there is titanium white on here. It's not bare canvas. All right, guys. Whew. You know, I could chat you up all day long, but I do want to go into this. So, you know what? I will see you on the other side. Let's go. You can change your mind. It's like the ocean. Moving all the time. However slowly. We're always shedding our skin. Casting off all of our sins. Even now up to the dying embers We've done our years apart Wish you could see me now I'm a new man and I hope
It's not too faded. A heart that was so proud has now grown patient. I hope it's not too late. Don't tell me your ship has sailed. Swear I'm not meant to be treading. in here um i want to see what develops here okay i just wanted to put a little torch a little right here um i will go back after the video to see if i need to blend this a little better but i think it i i tried to thin this out as much as possible you saw me i just pressed very lightly and just dragged very lightly i didn't i you know for me i'm not a big it seems like I, I use a lot of very bright colors, but I don't like a lot of flash. I don't like a lot of cells. I don't like a lot of big stuff. I'm very subtle. I like a lot of negative space. I like the the beautifulness of this. I would I would have liked to maybe started a little bit higher up. But hey, it's always a learning curve here, and sometimes you learn what you want to do next time. And obviously, I do want to start a little bit higher up. And I probably should have dragged twice through here. I wonder. Oh, I almost. I'm so tempted to do it. But I think this is going to be really beautiful. I, I like this a lot. Um, I know I torch, but I want to torch again. And again, I want to give a big thank you for, for Mary Louise and Kim for inviting me along on this challenge. Okay? This is very nice. And I do now. I, I really, I, I suggest doing this at home. This is a very beautiful style. And really, I'm surprised a lot more people don't do, do this. You know, I really think it's great. I know Marie Louise does, definitely. But, uh, I, yeah, you don't see this in, often enough. A lot of the videos that I was actually watching were very old. I mean, a couple years. I mean, that's not very old, but uh, some of them were up to about five years old. Oh, also, I do want to tell you guys something with the torch before. Um, I find when laying down... Um, Onto, that wasn't bare canvas because there was titanium underneath there, a titanium white underneath, but I didn't want to just go directly down with the torch like this because I didn't want to scorch anything. I didn't want to scorch, if, even if it was bare canvas, I wouldn't want to scorch it. So I went in on an angle just so the heat kind of was just there, just to pop anything, okay? Whew. All right, guys. Now, with all that being said, we are going to go into our close-up. And we're going to see what happened here. Yes, this isn't super dramatic, but I don't want it to be. I want this to be just a very beautiful picture. All right, guys. With all that being said, I do appreciate you guys spending your time with me and watching these videos and hopefully learning things. And 
I will see you all later. Bye.